All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about new products from Milwaukee Tools. Now, this is a special episode. I did the uh, high speed ratchet on Wednesday, I'm doing another Milwaukee Tools video on Friday. Well, because they've come out with a bunch of stuff. We had a nice little uh, online meeting with them to discuss some of the stuff coming out, so we're going to talk about it. Now, Milwaukee has had a socket and ratchet set for a while now. They're good, they're durable, they're chrome. And if you're in other industries, you know their packout system. The packout system has well blown up for them. And less so in our industry, but they're starting to bring some of that stuff in this industry, including a kind of roll around cart kind of deal. I'll put a picture up here. Uh, but what they've done is they've also introduced the Milwaukee Packout socket sets. Basically the same sets you've you know, seen before, just in their Packout cases. So if you're doing mobile stuff, waterproof, organized, or if you want to use the pack out for something else, the sockets come out into this nice organized tray. Uh, it's a little different than the old style. The 19's in a different spot on both short and deep because, well, size of the case. All right, that's all well and good, but let's talk automotive. Really automotive. Now, I've been an advocate of using predominantly impact sockets for a long time. In fact, in one of my earliest videos, I talked about getting impact sockets over chrome. Chrome looks great in a toolbox, but you're gonna use power tools, so you should probably go use power tools and the right sockets. So Milwaukee is introducing impact sockets. Now, one of the things they are doing that if you've seen this before, they are laser etching the size on it and filling it in with uh, you know, some sort of paint. They claim this is gonna last a lot longer. Um, most of the sockets on the market, well, they kind of suck to see the number. So I'm gonna play with these and see how they do. They seem really good quality. One of the things I did compare them against was my snap-on sockets. They are the exact same diameter around as my snap-on sockets and actually the same height. I compared 21 and 19. Now, before anybody makes a comment, this is kind of one set they have out. It's got a bunch of skips, but they will have full sets available. It's just what they sent me. Used the 14 a bunch the other day. I was working on a Honda, so I used 14 a bunch. Uh, mostly because I couldn't find my long 14. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they've also introduced rails as well. On the socket line, they've got impact sockets from quarter inch up to one inch. Now, sets will be available in quarter inch, three eighths and half inch. The three quarter and one inch will be available individual sizes. So no sets in those, but you know, <laughs> if you have bought three quarter or one inch impact socket sets, you know how expensive, heavy, and half the tools you don't use. So they went individual on the bigger stuff. Options are good if you need big sockets. So they've got a whole line of impact sockets all the way up to one inch. So, and they're also expanding their ratchet line. Now, one item that has already made its way into my roll cart is this boy. This replaced my snap-on flex head short ratchet. So it's about the same length as my flex head, but it doesn't have a flex, mostly because I'm too cheap to buy a Matco version. So I have the locking part of it and the snap-ons, you know, floppy, because they get floppy. So straight handle, long handle, half inch drive. So we'll be definitely be putting this to the test and 
you know, it's a ratchet. It's a 90 tooth ratchet, by the way. In that line, they've also come out with a quarter inch long and a three eighths long, you know, because we like long and hopefully soon they'll be coming out with flex head ratchets, hopefully. Now the last two items I'm gonna talk about are kind of specialty. I will put links to all these tools going to Milwaukee's site for part numbers and all of that so you can find out what I'm talking about. Not affiliate links, they're directly to Milwaukee. First one is a stubby 3 8 drive ratchet. You know, lots of guys like the little three eighths in the quarter inch body, they've got them already. Part number on this is 48-22-9036 in case you're wondering, but it is a 90 tooth, little stubby three eighths ratchet. They also came out with a little stubby quarter inch ratchet. Hey little boy. So, you know, almost, well, Remember, I got big hands, so, you know, it's palmable for sure. Definitely a useful tool. Again, 90 tooth. The head is a little bigger than one of my Matco ones that I have. Um, so that might be a concern, but might be really handy. Now, warranty. And I'll try to put up a graphic right here. They have a website and phone number to call you for a trouble-free warranty replacement. You don't even need to send it in. You just need to go, I got a broken tool, here's what it is, send it to me. So, really good lifetime warranty. I will report back, especially on the impact sockets, on how they do day-to-day. -day. Uh, the, they currently sent me only 3.8 so, and skips, so. I will try to get the whole set and beat the snot out of them. Hope you like this look at Milwaukee's new tools. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.